uh, there are several schools of thoughts and ideas around what business analysis is and what business analysts uh, should be doing. Primarily, business analysts are saddled with the responsibility of managing the requirements life cycle. You need to define the requirements life cycle. Um, there are quite a number of um, activities that precede the, the requirements life cycle, and there are those that uh, succeed the requirements life cycle. And in some organizations, you find that it is quite important that all of the preceding activities and those that succeed the actual requirements life cycle are all bundled together as a single function and handed the business analyst to manage. And all of that is um, okay and good, provided the resources that fill those roles are capable, they understand the remit and they are capable to deliver. Otherwise, you might be setting up resources or for failure. And that applies not just for business analysts, it applies for any role. If you fill a role with incapable hands or immature hands, then there's a challenge, except of course, it's a strategy for building skills, which is also acceptable. And requirement life cycle management is a cyclical uh, process. It is ever continuing. Uh, the important thing is that at every opportunity, value is created. Requirements life cycle management kicks off almost as soon as it is determined that there is a business problem to be solved or an opportunity in the market to be captured. Requirements are really uh, the business needs that needs to be met and by extension the business and customer needs that uh, needs to be addressed uh, in a project, uh, in a product uh, or in a feature of a product or a set of features of a product. The business analyst gets involved at the point where business is clarifying his thoughts around what needs to be done. And um, once the semblance of a scope has been determined, uh, the business analyst then uh, starts to run along to understand what the opportunity or challenge really is.